aluminum foil, a simple shiny sheet. Yet it plays a vital role in our kitchens and beyond. Its ability to reflect heat and preserve freshness makes it indispensable. But have you ever stopped to wonder how this remarkable material is made? Let's embark on a journey from the Earth's crust to your kitchen, tracing the fascinating story of aluminum foil. Aluminum, the star of our show, starts its life as bauxite. This reddish-brown ore is found in abundance across the globe. Australia, Guinea, and Brazil are just a few countries where bauxite lies hidden beneath the surface waiting to be unearthed. The real treasure within bauxite is aluminum oxide, the crucial ingredient in our story. Extracting aluminum from bauxite requires a series of intricate steps. The journey begins with the Bayer process, a remarkable feat of chemical engineering. First, the mined bauxite undergoes a dramatic transformation. It is crushed into a fine powder, ready for its encounter with caustic soda. This mixture then embarks on a hot bath in pressurized tanks. This process, known as digestion, dissolves the aluminum oxide, separating it from the other components of bauxite. The result is a solution called sodium aluminate, a crucial stepping stone in our aluminum journey. Next, the solution undergoes filtration, a process akin to straining tea leaves from a pot. Unwanted impurities are removed, leaving behind a purified liquid. Cooling this liquid allows alumina crystals to emerge, much like snowflakes forming in the winter sky. These crystals are then subjected to intense heat in rotating kilns reaching temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius. This crucial step, known as calcination, removes any remaining water, leaving behind a fine white powder alumina. This marks the end of the Bayer process and the beginning of a new chapter in our story. Our alumina powder is now ready for its next transformation. The destination is the hall herolt process, where electricity takes center stage. This process frees aluminum from its bond with oxygen, unleashing the pure metal within. The alumina is first mixed with molten cryolite, a substance that acts as a solvent, lowering the melting point of alumina. This molten mixture becomes the battleground for our next act electrolysis. Two electrodes, one positive and one negative, are immersed in the molten mixture, a powerful electric current surges through, setting the stage for a microscopic tug of war. Aluminum ions, positively charged, are drawn to the negative electrode, where they gain electrons and transform into pure aluminum. This molten aluminum, heavier than the surrounding mixture, settles at the bottom of the cell, ready to be collected. The oxygen ions, meanwhile, journey to the positive electrode, where they are released as oxygen gas. Section 4. Rolling into sheets, thinning the aluminum. The molten aluminum is carefully siphoned off and cast into large blocks called ingots. These ingots, still warm from their fiery birth, are now ready to be shaped into the thin, flexible sheets we know as aluminum foil. The first step is hot rolling, where the ingots are heated and passed through massive rollers. Imagine a baker flattening dough with a rolling pin, but on an industrial scale. The aluminum still pliable from the heat gradually thins with each pass through the rollers. Once the desired thickness is achieved, the aluminum sheets undergo cold rolling. This process, performed at room temperature, further reduces the thickness to a fraction of a millimeter. The once thick ingots are now remarkably thin, yet incredibly strong. To achieve the remarkable flexibility we associate with aluminum foil, the sheets undergo annealing. This process involves heating the aluminum to a specific temperature and then slowly cooling it. Annealing relieves any internal stresses within the metal, making it more pliable and less likely to crack or tear. Section 5. From Factory to Kitchen, The Final Steps Our journey nears its end as the aluminum sheets, now incredibly thin and flexible, arrive at the final stage of their transformation. Precision cutters slice through the sheets with ease, creating rolls of aluminum foil in various widths and lengths to suit every need. These rolls are then carefully wound onto cardboard tubes, ensuring the foil remains smooth and wrinkle-free. Finally, the rolls are packaged in their familiar boxes, ready to be shipped to supermarkets and stores around the world. 
From humble bauxite ore to the gleaming rolls on supermarket shelves, the journey of aluminum foil is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to transform raw materials into everyday wonders. Section 6. Aluminum's Environmental Footprint – A Call for Sustainability While aluminum foil offers undeniable convenience, it's crucial to acknowledge the environmental impact of its production. The mining of bauxite can disrupt ecosystems, and the electrolysis process requires a significant amount of electricity, often generated from fossil fuels. However, aluminum possesses a remarkable quality. It is infinitely recyclable. Recycling aluminum requires a mere 5% of the energy needed to produce it from raw bauxite. This makes recycling a crucial step in mitigating the environmental impact of aluminum production. By choosing recycled aluminum foil and diligently recycling used foil, we can all contribute to a more sustainable future. Let us ensure that this versatile material continues to benefit generations to come without compromising the health of our planet.